Hi guys, I have a quick PowerPoint tutorial for you. Let's get started. First, format the background by changing the color. Insert the line. Right click, then format the line by increasing the width. Changing the color. And applying a radial gradient. Instead of circle, change the color, duplicate twice, select the circles, then change to an arc, remove the fill, then increase the line weight, right click, then format the arc by rotating 135 degrees. Now flip one of them vertically, align the arcs together, select both arcs, then group them together, align with the circle, then scale with the circle, group the circle and the arcs together, align the grouped objects in the center of the slide, also align the line, scale the grouped objects, drag them down a little, now insert your text. I'll be using the Tonda Extra Bold font. Links in the description. Group. Align the grouped objects in the center of the slide. Ungroup the objects. Select the text on this grouped object. Group. Duplicate twice. Edit your text. Now duplicate the slide. Right click, click on Grids and Guides, then tick this to display the center guide. Select all the grouped objects. Drag them to align the second word in the center. Duplicate again. Align the third word in the center of the slide. Right click, then hide the center guide. Select all the slides. Apply the morph transition. Then reduce the duration. Head back to the first slide. Insert a rectangle. Right click. Format the rectangle by removing the outline and applying the gradient fill. Copy the rectangle, then paste to the other slides. There you have it. That's a cool way to display a process or a timeline in PowerPoint. Subscribe for more PowerPoint awesomeness, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.